Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Today we're reviewing the Catahoula Micro Spikes. Are these possibly the best traction devices available on the market? Let's find out. The Catahoula Micro Spikes. Let's check these things out. They're actually really, really cool. Now, uh, before I get into talking about these, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button and also leave me a comment below and let me know for ideas or for more reviews and things that I can do for you to make your life easier. Definitely appreciate that. Thanks for the comments and the subscription. So the Catahoula Micro Spikes, maybe you've uh, lived in a snowy area, you've got a lot of ice on the walkway and you've slipped and fallen, maybe you've broken a wrist or something terrible. And you say, man, I'm sick and tired of this because I walk in my boots and they've got great lugs or maybe my lighter duty boots or my medium duty lighter boots and all these things keep happening to me what do i do well there are multiple traction devices on the market and i've gone through just about all of them and i have absolutely settled on the catahoula micro spike so what are these these are basically chains for your boots or your shoes they're really quite incredible now there are lots of other options uh, they're yak tracks or little studs on your uh, shoes i mean i even for ultralight running i just screw uh, number six one three eight screws into the bottom of my running shoes and i can run on glare ice pretty well however i don't want to have to put screws into all my shoes because i'm mean, sure i can put screws in these boots and they're tiny little studs and they'll work for walking on glare ice but when the snow or ice gets thicker there's no way that that's going to help enter micro spikes now the reason i don't use yak tracks anymore and some people still like them is when i'm walking around in really hard ice and kicking along i've actually broken the coils and snagged them so uh, for some people they work great they're less obtrusive than these and they're more comfortable to walk in and like everything there's a trade-off but i'm going to talk about the micro spikes today and why you might actually want these things i'll put a link below so you can check them out online and i'm going to give you a couple different ideas about these things sizing wearing and maintenance for you so let's get right into that right now so when you pick up these micro spikes you'll notice that they have a label that says front there and then well it doesn't say rear but you'll see the size marking xl there okay and so to put them on your boots there's there's not a left or a right thank goodness to put them on your boots you put them over the front first uh, if i can do this here you put them over the front first and you just wiggle them on there and the key is to get this little bar that they come with over the toe and then you begin very carefully stretching them out until they go over the back of your boot and this is of course much easier if you're wearing them and i'll demonstrate them that in a moment i actually recommend putting these on when you're wearing your boots it's a lot easier to deal with and there you go and that's pretty simple so now i've got these spikes all over my boots but you'll notice that that's actually a little bit loose and you don't want these loose at all on your boots simply because the looser they are the more likely that chain is to bind and as you're walking along you could actually break one of the links and then you'll have some problems so you definitely don't want to do that also these are not meant to be crampons at all so crampons are the real deal here's my old school uh, crampons i don't know where my other ones are but uh, these are serious mountaineering tools micro spikes are for light duty travel maybe you're backpacking or hiking or walking around at your house and you want something that gives you a lot more confidence and traction but isn't nearly as serious as a set of black diamond crampons so there's a huge difference and i'm going to do a video talking about the difference in values of each so just remember that these 
are not serious mountaineering tools, crampons are. That said, I've seen people climbing Gannet Peak just in tennis shoes in wintry conditions. Blew my mind, but I've seen other people use micro spikes. It gives them a little bit of traction, and I've done that myself where I take the micro spikes with me in the backcountry, I slap them on, and it gives me a lot better purchase and confidence than just going with my rubber sole boots. In fact, I had a hike this summer where I was trying to go over one of the passes in the Teton range. I didn't have my micro spikes or my ice axe. The ice axe is more important. And yeah, that kind of burned me up pretty quick. And by the way, Micro spikes and crampons are no substitute for an ice axe. The ice axe is your most important thing if you're traveling in winter. So let me show you the fitment theory about this is you want to get the rubber up on top of your boot and above and you want this bar to be perfectly level. You don't want it spun out or anything because it is possible to break this. Now, the steel on here is stainless. It does a very good job, but the, the three factors you have to consider are fit. Now, if you are between sizes, the tradition is that you want to actually upsize. But my experience has been, and this is my super hack, these are XL micro spikes, but my boots are size 12. Now, the, the sizing chart says to use the large on this size boot. Don't do it because I've looked on Amazon and I've seen several pictures where the rubber is actually torn here or here or something and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Come to find out, people were basing the sizing on what uh, it said on the website, got them and they pull them on and then they tear and they wonder why. Well, the rubber on these is stretchy but only so much, once you exceed the elastic limit of this material, it will tear and it will tear catastrophically. So you don't want that to happen. Now the nice thing about the micro spikes is they, th th that's a key thing. The nice thing about the micro spikes is they work on my heavy hiking boots. They will work on my light duty, Merrill ventilators. I'll show you that in a moment. Now normally if I know I'm going to be in snowy conditions I'm not going to be in my Merrills because they are anything but waterproof. In fact they kind of like to suck water in. So it's uh, kind of a nature of the business there but they will fit on there just fine. It's a little awkward but you know walking around in town and everything yeah, that works fine but you'll see they're loose here so you just keep wriggling up the back there until the chains basically don't jingle at all and then you know you've confidently installed your micro spikes correctly. Now another thing too you'll see the tips aren't particularly sharp they don't need to be they're not again they're not again like crampons where they need to be sharp so they can dig into the ice these don't have a lot of material so if you start going and filing these down properly, I've got another video on sharpening crampons, you're going to be in trouble. Don't file them down too much or at all because there's not enough material there and you're going to quickly grind the studs. Uh, one thing too is there is the option between red rubber and black rubber on the micro spikes. I recommend red because it is easier to see. I know the black on white snow thing, but I have seen people lose things and you don't want to do that. So the absolute key is fitting these correctly. If you don't want to damage them, you want them to be relatively easy to get on, but they still stick. They're a little bit tension. These are XLs on size. Uh, these are 11 boots. So these are 11 boots and they fit more than adequately. So I would say go a little bit larger. You don't want them flopping loose. But this is a key to making your micro spikes last a long, long time. I've used these in the mountains quite a few times. I've used these in the mountains quite a few times, but always make sure to bring a pair of pliers just like you would with your crampons because 
If one of the links gets damaged or opens up, you want to be able to pry them closed. Now, has that ever happened to me? No, but it's always the first time. That's what gets you. Let me give you a quick weight on the micro spikes. I'll weigh the micro spikes real quick just to give you a quick weight measurement. Yes, they are heavy. They turn, I mean, they're still lighter in crampons, but in order to have traction on ice, they have to weigh something. So my pair of XL micro spikes is 15 and one half ounces. So there you go, 15 and a half ounces. Or if you're the gram types, they are 440 ounces. So, I mean, they're, they're basically a pound and it definitely adds something to your walking, but versus slipping, falling, breaking a wrist or your hip or worse, the micro spikes are pretty awesome. I hope you've enjoyed my video on micro spikes. I uh, definitely recommend them, can't go wrong with them. Make sure that they are easy to put on. If you had to pull and stretch that rubber, you're going to tear them. So these are XLs, they're fit on my 11 and 12 size boots just fine. So definitely check them out. Highly recommend them for the snowy, wintry, and icy conditions. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Also, please support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.